It's not reading heat. This is how it looks like when it's stuck. Oh, that's a cop. I don't know. See if it works. It's plug right. It should just slip right onto it. All right. Plug plug. Not even hot. Never at ease. I don't know a limit. Chasing a dream. I don't know what sleep is. I got a queen. She lit me to eat it. She ripe like a peach and she snapped me to snip it. Do what I would do for that link up in person. Text me to fall through a murder. She wrote it. Still up with courage. You're doing a service. Pull up to the crib. I'm equipped with the bullets. hell today so that's a problem because yesterday I was dealing with the with the heating of the truck and uh, I didn't want to do it I didn't have time to do it yesterday or I mean we did have time but I was like hella tired I know it was gonna give me problems but I thought it was gonna be not as hot as it is today here's where the thermostat is at it circulates after the thermostat opens so yep. the coolant stays inside the radiator and then after the thermostat opens then it cycles through the motor back to the radiator through here <laughs> anyways where's the fan at it's so over there next to the compressor. Get it for me. It's your yeah. shop. Plus, I'm making you look cool. By the way, guys, I'm making this vlog, so if you guys want to check it out, it'll be in the description below. This thing is so hot. There's nothing. Last time I took it out, took the thermostat out, it was filled with cooling. This is the housing, this is the thermostat. But we're gonna take off this part right here. All right, twist it, pull it down, twist it a little bit. Twist it, twist it. Yeah, there we go. It's gonna have a spring right there. Turn this thing off. All right. So you think it's, this is how it looks like when it's stuck? I've never seen one like that. I mean, I remember like it's supposed to like go here. I've never and seen it, like it like pushes this. up. Came out. I gotta go buy more coolant. Yeah, just put it back together without it. One of the reasons why I want to go buy one later on is because it's gonna take a while for the truck to heat up in the morning. It wouldn't really matter right now because it's hot, but in Texas it turns hot, cold, hot, cold. The weather patterns are weird in Texas, but because this motor I built it for basically racing sit at the track and everything i did the cam swap on it at uh velocity velocity helped me out with the uh phaser gear a lot of guys helped me out by putting on the exhaust the starter the spark plug wires the fluids i didn't bolt down the harness but you know shout out to project torque team uh, they really came through for me while i was out there uh giving away the two giveaway trucks over there at uh at atlanta and chicago i didn't really expect them to actually you know work on my truck i was actually doing it myself get some cooling right now listen non-stop on your laptop and on the fancy phone fill all them <laughs> horsepower <laughs> the smart TV put on my seatbelt first This is expensive water. <laughs> Can you hold the camera real quick? Yeah, damn it. So 
so I better not drop any anything. It's special water, it's miracle water. I hope it's enough too. It. You put the whole bottle in there. Yeah, I did. I don't think you're supposed to do that. Nah, it's all right. It's just gonna. It's just gonna like if it overflows, uh, it'll just come out from this hose right here. It'll come out slowly. Plus, as soon as I turn it on or something, it's probably gonna suck it in. It already leaked out. We're gonna turn on the truck, do a little ride along, see if it stays. Let's see if it stays at normal temp. You wanna go? We're taking the trailer off the trailer with the skids here. like that it would already heat up like even in the morning as soon as like I start giving it a little bit more gas it starts going to 210 oh is that a popo? -po? and you didn't even wear a seatbelt you got a seatbelt <laughs> <laughs> that's a cop I'm, I'm at my destination <laughs> Hey, it was a thermostat. She didn't even want to heat up at all. She didn't even want to heat up. You took it out? Yeah. I told you. I told you it was a thermostat, but I already had a feeling it got stuck. It's not showing me the heat. The fans are on. Oh, they just turned off. I'm gonna try to drive it. Not giving me heat. All right, guys. So the fans are on. It's not even hot. 
not hot here it's not hot here if it was overheating it would have showed me on the gauge but the gauge ain't even working it's not even it's not even hot It's not that, I don't want to make a mess. Much justice. You'd make you'd make 700 easy. Uh, you mind if I can work on my truck inside the shop? Because it might throw out some coolant. So you did that? Put me on camera, put me on the spot. <laughs> 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 okay. What? <laughs> No, you do it. How you, you do you trust? I can't reach that damn <laughs> part. That's right. I'm in his. I'm in his world. You never did this on a different I don't know, car? See if it works first. Yeah, it may not register. I mean, it might. It may not read it because. I mean, so it's what it's this thing does, guys, it reads temperatures and it has an app for it. It's the first time doing it. I'm doing it on my truck. Hopefully it works. Yeah, it should just plug right. It should just slip right onto it. All right, it's on. It's on. There's light. Oh, it decides to go slow. The suspense is killing me, dog. <laughs> Reading read your vehicle first. 2.0 gigahertz or higher. That's what I'm saying. You better not give me no damn viruses, you Mustang I owner, you. I didn't, sync, <laughs> I didn't hit uh, sync. What was it? So, the sensor one circuit being insufficient or erratic, and then it says up here, sensor one circuit high. It's saying that because your sensor can't even read it. So it doesn't read it. And because it has to be within a certain threshold, so there's a certain range that it has to read the temperature. Bro, honestly, this is a badass device. You Bluetooth this thing already shows me all my codes. Yeah. So <laughs> delete them all. I want to see how hot it is. I want to see how hot it is. working is just that it's not hot enough right now it's reading 126 over there it's a uh, 160 so we might see a change as soon as it hits 161 or 165 
But we'll, we're gonna keep you updated. Maybe not right now, but I'll tell you guys tomorrow. It might be just, it is the thermostat. So we're gonna, when I left the last place, Starbucks with a buddy, with a friend of mine, with well, a friend of mine, uh, the truck was off for a good while. So we're gonna keep it running and seeing if it goes up the thermostat and then I'll keep you guys updated, but maybe tomorrow. All right, guys, I'm over here at John John. This finally got hot. My heat gauge, my thermostat gauge doesn't work. Still doesn't work. So we're going to see what the scanner, how hot it is. And we're going to drive it a little bit just to see if it's spiking or dropping or whatever the case might be. Let's see what it does. Um, All right, go for it. Clear the codes. Okay, let's clear them real quick. Sometimes you just got to clear them. Yeah, just, just clear the codes right now just to see what it does. The gauge ain't so working. On this one, the good thing about this scanner, bro, is that I can clear everything. So it'll run your brakes, transmission, everything. See? I know the codes are gonna come out again for like the headlights. You see, and it's clean and throw away. You see? System by system. All right, so we clear the codes, engine, airbag, body control module. All right, we'll move that. Get some gas first. <laughs> Are you sure you this truck? I can do it mostly. <laughs> you down for real or what? Yeah, you, haven't, you haven't seen my truck yet. Huh? You haven't seen my truck run yet. I haven't even posted those videos yet. <laughs> remember, I drove the truck. Yeah, that was when it didn't have V85 and uh, aftermarket inset. You didn't do it. <laughs> Gonna get me? What the heck, bro? Nah, you gonna get me? I'm not sure no more. <laughs> Yo, bro, dude, what is it, 6 0? No, I thought I'll build 5 3. Oh, it's camp too. This thing don't even have a bumper, not even a back bumper. On this, is like Midnight Club for real. the gas huh? I let go of the gas because yeah, we weren't mine, mine we, shut off we weren't lined up just yeah delete I'm, not the, gonna, I'm not gonna be able to yeah it's just to, it. just delete the codes like that like we did with it it's, all like, it's gonna do the same thing it shut off on me so you, like, damn that wasn't a hey, good that's one. something badass though what the trucks hell yeah nah but I gave you map one though so if you beat map one that means you're good for map two yeah, this thing looks aggressive, bro. Look like Midnight Club, bro. Everything big, house real big, cars real big. Let me tell you how we live. 